Hey YouTube, what you know good? He is the Reverend, this is Project KNM, and we're back with some more of that fresh art goodness. So, what are we working on today? Well, this is day six of 2020's OC Tober, where I was drawing 31 OCs, most of them my own, but some of them were done by or the OCs of friends of mine or associates of mine or just fellow artists out there. This is another one of mine and this is actually um, a redesign of an OC that I was already working on way back when. The original idea of this one was uh, supposed to be like an entry for an art contest. Um, in our contest I entered back when I refused to even try to touch like digital illustrations and whatnot. This is back when I did everything by hand and I didn't want to learn how to, to draw digitally because I just, I didn't think I'd be good enough. Fast forward to now and honestly I'm hooked as you can probably guess I draw almost all the time. Yeah, you already knew that if you followed me so far. But uh, anyway, the the, char the character uh, contest was actually uh, for Udon Comics. At least I think it was Udon Comics who was challenging people uh, to do their OC that would fit in the fighting game series Darkstalkers. This is right up my alley because not only am I a fan of Darkstalkers and fighting games. But Darkstalkers was the actual game that got me into fighting games in the first place. <laughs> um, so the idea that I had uh, during that contest was coming up with a Krampus type of character. Since Darkstalkers is, is basically a, a series where you take classic movie monsters and you know, different uh, types of just takes of mythological beasts and whatnot, uh, from the standard vampires to the uh, flesh golems like Frankenstein's creation to the abominable snowman, etc., etc. You know, zombies, haunted armors, creatures from the Black Lagoon. It, 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 you put a Japanese spin on them and you have them fight. <laughs> that's the the base. That's the pretty much the gist of it. Um, so I decided I'll make a Krampus character and my idea was that instead of the usual Krampus lore where he would show up to you know kid uh, in kids bedrooms and if they've been a if they if they were a bad kid instead of like good old Saint Nicholas providing presents the Krampus would show up and beat the crap out of the kid and put them in a sack and then take them off to who knows where. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, you know, that that that's that's legit. Look, you can look it up. Look up what the Krampus is. Instead of presents, they just beat the crap out of you. <laughs> uh, I mean, that that's that's one way to encourage kids to be good, I guess. But come on now. So the idea for this guy, um, who I named Ramil which is inspired by a foreign word uh, named Rommel, meaning like clutter. Um, I can't remember what, 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 I cannot for life of me remember what language that is. I have to look it up later. Um, but uh, my character here, Rommel, was essentially, the idea was that instead of like gathering kids and um, he, like just taking them off to who knows where he actually he doesn't discriminate Rommel is a guy who like sneaks out of the demon world enters the human world and finds certain people that he thinks are worthy souls and essentially kills them puts them in his gigantic bag and he eventually takes him back to the demon world as a sacrifice to his uh, his you know his master uh, a demon lord known as Ozum. The reason uh, 
the, th the problem is that the idea look, this is, I'm just gonna, I'm just driving into his backstory right now because I because this is supposed to be an OC for the Darkstalkers universe I tried to see if I can get this guy to fit in the Darkstalkers universe this is the idea I had Rommel is just like a just like a ridiculous workaholic who just keeps you know finding souls in their bodies of course and just you know, bringing them to the demon world sacrifices to his his, his lord Ozom, but he's had he has such a huge collection of bodies in like just this gigantic pile in the demon world. He has like a specific spot spot where he would sacrifice these people. It's just that he's noticed that normally after a while Ozom would take the souls of these people if they're not dead. Um, or even if they are dead, if their souls are still there, I'm not quite sure. I can't quite remember how I was making this work. Um, after a while, these bodies would vanish. Their bodies would be able to probably be repurposed as zombies or be food for you know the demons in the demon world or something. But it got to the point where after a while, Rommel noticed that um, none of these bodies are going anywhere. His sacrificial location is getting rather cluttered. See what I did there? You probably didn't. You probably didn't even remember what I said his name was. <laughs> but um, the, the reason why the sacrifice are no longer uh, being taken is because Olzom has found someone who is much better and more efficient when it comes to the sacrifices. He doesn't. It's the case of like he there like there's no need for all these unnecessary bodies, especially if the bodies have kind of rotted or decayed on the way back from the earth, the, the human world, to the demon world. Sometimes all you really need is the souls. And that's where the actual character in Darkstalkers, Lord Raptor, comes in. Lord Raptor was already sacrificing people in a much more efficient manner by basically using magic in his in like like dark magic in like his music. Lord Raptor was a rock musician who was going to be like the next Ozzy Osbourne, the way he you know presented himself and all that. And eventually, after he gathered enough of a following with his music and you know sacri and sacrifices and whatnot, he did one final song before he killed himself and the audience. Uh, the song was actually called "Sacrifice." Afterwards, Lord Ozom would eventually uh, would find him, accept the sacrifice, and basically resurrect him as a zombie. And as long as Lord Raptor did his bidding, he would gain more power. My idea was that before Lord Raptor was selected as the as Ozom's new lieutenant, it was Rommel. And you know, Rommel has been just constantly going at it, not even paying attention to the idea that maybe, just maybe, he was gonna get replaced. Uh hence his confusion when he realizes that, you know, these sacrifices aren't being taken. And once he realizes who Lord Raptor is and that he has been replaced, he's not having it. Not having it at all. And the, the idea is that he's going to demonstrate that he is much better at this job than this new zombie is by not only gathering even more of these sacrifices, but just straight up killing Raptor in a way that he can't be properly resurrected again. At least that was the idea I had for Rommel uh, in a way to make him that would make him fit in the Darkstalkers story. Even though I highly doubt someone like him would have uh, been selected by Jada in the third game as someone who could be a worthy soul for his his great plan, and therefore I don't see him really making it anywhere. He probably would have just honestly I can see him actually running into Lord Raptor and end up getting killed off, which is uh, which. Yeah, um, which would would which would really suck because I don't I don't see Rommel as that very powerful like a demon, but I still think he would be a really interesting idea. And if he does get killed off, I'd rather not be by Raptor, but by someone who could make it fun. Like I don't know, maybe BB Hood, 
she could see this guy as just like some weird freaking thing in an urban legend but people are afraid of the Krampus and then she hears about it and hey maybe she you know sees there's a bounty on his head and they and she kills him off yeah it'd be a lot better you know I don't know just just an idea um, the original concept of him was never truly fleshed out as well as it was in this particular illustration um, because I was trying to see what he would look like as a fighting game character so I had like a side view of him as like a sprite and a portrait of his like his head and his face so this is the first time I actually drew him like full on like what he would look like from head to toe and frankly even now I think it was an interesting idea and I told I would totally I, I would totally make a 3D model of this if I could. You know, I, I still might, like, I'm still learning how to properly build things in 3D, and I'm getting better at it, so who knows? I might actually do that if I can properly figure out how to do that weird cell shading. If you've if you guys seen what um, Arc System Works has been doing, that gives me this really good idea. Something I'd really like to be able to learn how to properly do, if only to do some 3D fan art for some stuff that isn't being made right now, Capcom. But that's another topic for another time. Um, I don't really have a, a question to ask you guys before we wrap things up, but um, you know, I you know I can wing this. When it comes to like monster type characters. What does the media need more of? Like, if we were going to bring up some some mythological creatures or monsters that no one ever talks about, no one ever designs or makes it like a new concept or like an idea for, no one revamps them, no one reinvents them or anything. Like, when's the last time you've seen someone, for example, draw a Krampus? Uh, if, if there's a if there's a monster that needs a little more attention that you think someone should like try drawing or redesign or something. Uh, what do you think that would be? What, what type of monster needs some more attention? What kind of creatures need some redesigns and new ideas? Let me know in the comments. Um, who knows? Like maybe we'll encourage each other to like finally redesign some of these things. I don't remember the last time someone's drawn a Krampus, and honestly, I wouldn't mind drawing Rommel again, or better yet, making a 3D model of him, for example. Anyway, that's something to think about. Let me know in the comments if you uh, feel so inclined. And uh, let's just wrap it up for tonight. Tonight? Today? What time are you guys watching this? Uh, anyway, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Y'all take it easy. Memento, boy. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Kill the feed.